if I can kind of help find that snare accent and some of those um, repetitions within it, even within those interruptions, it further emphasizes the point that their music, however technical, is for everybody. Polyphia is for everybody. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. Now today is quite a unique one because I'm filming on a Saturday. I never film on a weekend. I like to get all of my work, my filming, editing um, and scheduling done in the week. So the weekend is mine to kind of do with what I please. Um, but work has been really full on. It's been really intense. And it's important to me to keep doing reactions at a consistent volume. One, so I stay sharp. And as a result of that, I keep contributing valuably to the reaction space. Um, it is really important to me. So I'm filming this today and hopefully I'll be scheduling this for tomorrow or shortly after. Um, and if there's one song and one group that could get me to film on a weekend, uh, it is Polyphia. I've been getting a lot of requests for this one. Um, excited to see they've got some new music out. You know, whenever I think of listening to them, even just think of listening to them, it's like a... Uh, running an auditory marathon. It's like a workout and it's exciting. Um, looking forward to this one. So without further ado, Polyphia playing God. Let's see what you got. About to kick into something else there. Listen, I said it. It's an auditory workout, and uh, they did not disappoint in the first 27 seconds of this. This is amazing. Um, so much going on. Going back to the beginning, of course. Um, there's a couple of things that are kind of sticking out to me there. He's got this awesome melodic picking style, but you can hear a lot of harmonics. Now, harmonics on a guitar are where you don't play in the um, space of the fret you play on the actual fret itself. A lot of people use harmonics uh, to tune guitars. They say it's a little bit more accurate. <clears throat> and what you're actually doing is if you play an open string, you just kind of vibrate the string between the, the bridge and the, the, the headstock or the, or the nut. Um, and when you play an harmonic, you kind of split that. So those vibrations happen. It's kind of like a midpoint to them or, or, or points in between. And it, it's really interesting because when you, when you're, starting out playing guitar and you kind of stumble upon harmonics or you find a, a tutorial or something like that and you practice them you're not actually pressing down you're more like just using the padding to touch <clears throat> because of the resonance of that and it's normal it's normally in um kind of multiples of that frequency that initial fundamental you can get it to kind of ring out and it almost sounds like there's like a second guitarist playing with you it's very difficult to do in the beginning especially when you're Focusing on pressure. Pressure is the big thing with that. It's like going, shifting between playing a note and then gently touching, but having the same intensity with picking it. There's a lot going on there, an enormous amount. But what I like to do as a trick is just listen to on the count, like one, two, three, four. Listen to those root notes, those fundamental notes to help find the melody. Everything else is um, magic, but it's the water coming off the waterfall not the source of it. Wow. <laughs> so much they 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 they're brilliant um i think one of the biggest mistakes you can make and i and i make it all the time with them is getting tied up in the technicality i think one of the biggest compliments i could ever 
give a bear, not that they would be looking for one from me, I'm just a guy in a room, but one of the biggest compliments I could give a band that have an enormous technical skill and they aren't shy or afraid to use it um, in a way that they do, which is important, which prioritizes the melody above all else prioritizes the melody um, is that they are one of the most melodic bands I've heard because I think you can create melody in a number of ways. You can do it very simply through just a, a an extremely stripped down version of this. You could play an extremely stripped down version of what they're doing. I'm talking a fraction of what they're playing and it would still get that core melody across. It's almost like this. I feel like, um, there's like this like Spanish influence, <clears throat> excuse me, early morning throat is not working. Um, it feels like it's like, you're like on holiday and it's this like beach kind of like Spanish influence sway to it. And I'm going to have to listen to it again, or maybe even go and look at um, what the chords are and things like that, just, just to see where that comes from. But brilliantly put together as always. I mean, the drummer coming in is always a treat because he's got this unique style of playing what is identifiable as a, 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 a drum loop or a beat. He's obviously got some um, different kind of EQing of, of his drums, but he does like a lot of kind of interruptions of his own beats and strict hits and catches the uh, of the of his cymbals, bringing that hi hat really close to emphasize certain parts of that note. Now I said earlier, if you get the harmonics right, it can almost sound like you have a second guitarist with you. Well, of course they do, and of course he is emphasizing that by by like kind of it looked like finger picking just two of those like chord root notes as well to emphasize it. There's a lot of technicality going on here, but they are at its core just a brilliant melodic band. And that's important. They they're a showcase. They're 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 masters of their craft. But please do not let that take away from the fact that they are prioritizing music, melody, and making sure that as a listener, with very little or no musical experience, it is extremely enjoyable. And that is an art form. Okay, yeah, I love the, the 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 videos as well. I've seen like music videos, and and what I've seen for the most part is like them playing in an open space, which looks like a jam session. Obviously, it's it's been professionally recorded, but they are um, just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, again, the work that the bassist is doing to work with a drummer who is playing these interrupted. But, you know, I'm sitting here air drumming along with him. And let me tell you, I am possibly the worst drummer that's ever existed. And um, if I can kind of help find that snare accent and some of those um, repetitions within it, even within those interruptions, it further emphasizes the point that their music, however technical, is for everybody. Polyphia is for everybody. Interesting title, playing God. Um they are godlike in their ability. I'm sure that's probably not where the title comes from. I'm, I'm sure they, they, you know, I, I haven't really seen, I think I've probably seen like one interview um, with the lead guitarist, not that they both aren't, and he seems pretty humble, but um, interesting to know where that came from and what the, the theory of that is, especially when you're conveying a feeling or a, uh, a story without vocals. I like it. Big fan. Bassist is absolutely destroyed. He's just playing a fundamental backup role there, and it's really good. In the beginning, um, so much to say. Goodness me. Um, they do, they do, they played with the EQ quite nicely because it was quite subdued. It didn't have a lot of the high end to it or some of the depth of that. It was kind of sitting in the middle, but like if you're speaking for a part like that, that's how the guitar was, was, was introduced, the main one. And when everything kind of... When the second guitar came in, some of the big strum hits where you... you because... Um, they're strumming it at an intensity where it's not just a because of the, there's no like major distortion on it, so you can actually hear the individual strings. That's when the frequency got looped in and it stayed there. But finding gaps for all of it, finding gaps for all that music on that canvas, canvas size is always the same. The ability to fill it with color 
and purpose is enormously difficult. So well done to the engineers and everybody else involved. Right there is important because layering matters. <laughs> uh, who would have thought? They look amazing, by the way. Wear the hell out of these outfits, black suits slash quite somber, isn't it? But um, they look amazing. Oh, hang on a second. My mic's doing a thing. It's been doing that lately. Bit weird. I think we got it under control. Well done, us. Um, fantastic song. Fantastic song. They look great. Of course, I'm commenting on that. Um, everything's very polished. Very, very polished. And uh, w what's coming up now, the reason I pause it is because there's actually that layering. When everything calms down, calms down a little, and you've got that picking with the harmonics, and you've got both guitars working together. It sounds like there's a um, like a synth loop in the back, which is pinpointing little frequencies. It sounds very spacey. Have a listen out for that. If you are struggling to do so, I highly encourage you to lift your body a little bit up as if you're looking down on the music because those frequencies sit a little higher and sometimes it's important to kind of push back. Um, physical space for me helps me unlock that. It's just through a lot of practice, um, but you, you'll find what works for you. Active listening is a, a muscle you have to flex all the time and practice all the time or else you lose it. Speaking of my hearing is going terribly down the drain. Amazing. It's a three minute 23 song. We're two minutes in and there is so much to talk about, so much to point out. I've missed a lot, I'm sure. And I've already changed styles a bunch of times, brought the intensity. With a song that's so full, whenever you're picking and there's so much going on, it's very difficult to create levels of intensity. And it's not just done by volume. Um, it's done by fullness. And they just do. Now this is a much more happy, fun kind of easygoing vibe, still got that, oh, I keep wanting to say Mediterranean feel, and I'm sure I'm off on this, but um, really clear playing. I liked what the drummer was doing when he was coming in with a little bit more frills and accents. Let's go back one. Um, he, he, um, it sounded a bit like an Afro soul kind of buildup that you'd have. It's just, it's just a lot of, uh, it's like creating music at its core for it being the song you want to make versus the style of the song you want to make.
just want to hear that roll again. <clears throat> that drum is so good, man. Um, music like this, I have. I hear a lot of people who uh, are maybe more fans of what you would call traditional style um, metal or rock or <clears throat> name a genre. But basically, they want things to have a structure in terms of they wanted to have like an intro, wanted to have a verse, a chorus, maybe a double verse. A chorus with an art with with a, a post chorus or, or like a doubling up then they want a bridge and they want a chorus with a finish that's your standard bridge that your standard structure um and they want vocals they want the vocal melody in the chorus to be very impactful and memorable they want the verse to be a build-up they want it to be something that draws you in and gives you a chance to breathe i should really do something on the structure of songs or like why traditional structures exist and why that has influenced the length of, length of songs and that actually has to do with radio um <clears throat> Interesting. Um, I love what the drummer does to kind of, because it is so intense and so intricate and everything loops into each other, the way that he uses those quick little rolls to be accents. At that point, in those moments, the guitar is secondary. Everything is secondary besides what he's doing. And then when he hits that little cymbal hit and catches it, and it's quite a sharp crash to it, guitars come back in and feel revitalized and refreshed. Genius. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, good. I always uh, take my autoplay off to see who else has done this. Oh, this is, I mean, this is probably the, why are you even watching me at this point? Let's click on you. Please do not sue me. Copyright me. This man over here. Um, absolute legend. Absolute legend. Um, I've learned so much from just watching him and just like the way he delivers content, the lessons that he teaches, his ability to play on the fly and kind of uh, do a much better job of, of most people on YouTube. Um, let's go back so we can get more info on his channel. So it's Mark, oh, Jesus, I can't even speak. Michael Pullman, Pomisano? Yes, Michael Pomisano. Um, he is incredible. Please go and watch his channel. If you like any kind of detail, if anything I say in terms of a technicality uh, or, or any explanation I give that is a slightly more technical than, I guess, um, some other channels and you're looking for more of that more of that in a way that is more practical and you can actually sit and watch it and listen to what he's doing please go and watch his channel he's incredible i haven't obviously seen this so i am definitely going to be watching his take on that and i highly recommend you do the same i'll put a link to his channel in this video in the description um so if you like this one please go and watch his absolute legend i've seen a couple of his live streams as well phenomenal guitarist i mean one of the best content creators for me in, in the reaction space by far. Um, Polyphia just doing Polyphia things. That painting at the end, very pretty, wouldn't want it in my house. A little intense for me. Um, but overall, fantastic song. A little bit different from what I've, I remember from them, which was um, slightly more affected in terms of actual guitar effects. Uh, this was more easy going and laid back. It was something you could kind of listen to in the background of doing something else which is the irony of it being so busy and technical. You can have it on a surface level if you want. You can also have it in multiple layers of depth. Um, fantastic song. Thank you for asking me to do that one, all the people that did. Um, and um, Paravarium, he actually asked me to do this as well. So shout out to him. And yeah, phenomenal. Really enjoyed that one. Actually, good workout for my brain on a Saturday morning. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um if you're like me and you know Monday's around the corner, you tend to get a bit of those beginning of the week fears sticking in. Um, don't let that happen. Enjoy your weekend. You've earned it. And uh, until the next one, please be safe. Be nice to each other. And have a damn good day. Mm -hmm.